ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mina. I'm 11 years old and I'm studying in Jungda Secondary School. So my presentation's topic for today is how people travel from the 190s to the 150s. So table of contents. First, I will talk about transportation. And secondly, I'll talk about how different the poor and the rich travels. So first, transportation. I will follow the timeline like this. First, I will talk about transportation in the early 90s, followed by the 190s, 20s, the 1930s, the 1940s, and lastly, 1950s. So the early 90s. People used ships to mostly carrying uh, carrying uh, things, but people do travel by ships too. Secondly, trains. Well, the trains in the early 90s are very old and they only can sit, not lie like the trains like nowadays. Thirdly, cars. Well, the cars these days are very old and it look like this. It's kind of vintage. Lastly, horse and carriage. Well, these are very popular because people these days can afford the carriage and horse, but riding horse and carriage will also be very uncomfortable when you sit there for a very long time. Okay, the 1920s and 1930s. It's kind of like the early 90s, but nowadays they have planes already so they will go by plane this is a picture of plane of the 1920s to 1930s well planes are only used by the rich you can see that all the gentlemen and ladies here are dressing are very formal and very good for the times uh the 1940s and 1950s well uh these days they have bus like really old bus the trains are more uh, more efficient and lots more people uh, more families got uh, cars like these day although the cars are not really new or not really efficient like nowadays yet but they have a uh, new new what do you call that new um, new uh, new tools that you can learn how to drive the car. Okay, how different the poor and the rich travel? Beside the fact that when the poor travels, they will stay at cheap hotels, they will stay at their um, family's family's house. The rich are will will be staying at very cool hotel, very expensive hotel that have pools, have a very expensive buffet or something like that. Secondly, when you are rich, you can travel to more places. For the poor, they can travel only short distances, but for the rich, they can travel to another country, another um, province. So. Fourthly, which is the last, that you can bring more suitcases. The thing, the clothes that you bring can be more beautiful, can be more efficient, and it will be very cool like that. And that's it. Thank you for listening. This is the end of my presentation.